Nigeria has over 20 airports operated by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria and several state-owned terminals. Five of these are functional international airports, which includes Nigeria's premier gateway, the Mutala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. The international airport in Lagos before the pandemic processed 10 million passengers per annum, and with the highest passenger traffic in West Africa comes the attendant trafficking of some of the greatest volumes of hard drugs seized on commercial air flights, as Nigeria is known as a transit nation due to its strategic geographical location. A report from the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency shows that drugs like cannabis, cocaine, heroin and others are frequently seized. Between 2015 and 2021, a total of 323.9 kg of cocaine was seized. Heroin seizures stood at 146.7 kg, while 590 kg of cannabis sativa was confiscated. Metaphetamine stands at 475 kg, while over 6,000 kg of psychotropic substances were seized. In all, 508 men and 91 women were arrested in the five-year period. <laughs> Owing to its strategic location and constant seizure of drugs, the command here is re-strategizing as a new chairman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency comes visiting. You can't win a war in the defensive or by being passive. You have to get up and go after the enemy. And in this case, the traffickers, the importers, exporters, growers, those doing the clandestine labs of meth, we must go after them and their bosses and bring them to justice. We must get drugs out of Nigerian streets and communities. There will be a paradigm shift in operations as well as training to ensure that those who are engaged in this illicit trade are brought to book. We are actually fighting for the soul of Nigeria in this business. So this is a total fight to get Nigeria out of the drug woods. 15 million in Nigeria, three times the global average. We can't allow that to happen. Because if we are caught sleeping, this number will double in another 20 to 30 years. It will never happen while we are here, wearing this uniform. The NDLEA command at the Lagos International Airport is not working alone as it houses the Joint Border Task Force which was established in 2015 following a memorandum of understanding between the NDLEA, the National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons and the UK National Crime Agency.